Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to be going through setting up a simple light in 3D space in After Effects. Now I've started with a white solid here and I'm going to add a piece of text like so and I'm just going to make it slightly larger just so as it helps our tutorial so we can see what we're doing. That should be a decent enough size and I'm just going to close down these panels just to give us a bit more space to work with. So I've got two layers and I'm going to make them both 3D by clicking here and here. If you don't have those checkboxes folks, make sure you toggle your switches and modes at the bottom of the monitor here. So make sure you've got 3D switched on, like so. Now to work in 3D it's probably a good idea to go to the drop down uh, columns here and select two views horizontal. On the right hand monitor can you set that to active camera and the left hand monitor can you set that to custom view 1. To add the light go to layer, new and light. There's four types of light we're just going to focus on the spotlight for the time being. Can you leave the intensity at 100, cone angle at 90, feather at 50 and make sure cast shadows is ticked on and then click on OK. A spotlight now appears in our monitor and it's got three axis points on it just like any other 3D layer and it can be moved like any other 3D layer. We can grab the axis points, move it up and down, left, right, back, forth, you get the idea. I'm going to just park it just up there just as it's looking down on the screen at the moment. Now a light can be animated but we'll have a little go of that probably in a the next tutorial. Now I'm going to grab my light layer, or oh, sorry, I'm going to grab my light text that I've typed here, and I'm just going to pull it away from the white background. At the moment though, you, you, it doesn't seem to be any shadow, and there's a reason for that. If you open or expand the text here, and then open material options, now material options is a new set of options that will pop up once the layer has been made 3D. So open material options and just make sure you've got cast shadows set to on and your shadows now appear. If you move the light of course the shadows work just like shadows normally would in the real world. As the light moves around the shadows move in relation to the way that the light's pointing at the object. So if you moved a torch around an object and it casts a shadow on a wall as you move the torch the shadow will move as well. There's some light options you might want to adjust in the very early stages. So if we expand the light here and expand light options, you can adjust the intensity of the light, like so. Its default state is 100, so I'm just going to put it back to 100. You can change the colour also by clicking here, but you've got to be a bit careful about this, folks. When you change the colour, you might also find that you change the colour of your background and your objects. If I put my colour to blue, um, you'll see what it does. It does dramatically change things quite a lot. So you've got to approach that with a certain amount of caution. I'm going to put it back to white just for the time being. The cone angle is a good one. You might want to scrub that up and down and it adjusts the width of the spotlight. Make it a little bit more narrow and a bit more focused. And also cone feathers worth playing with as well. If you put the cone feather all the way, um, let's put it to zero, you can see the spotlight has become a lot sharper around the edges, sort of here. Whereas you put the cone feather back up, it has a much more diffused and slightly softer effect. Okay, folks, that's a very basic intro into setting up lights. There's more to come. We'll probably look at animating lights and moving them around in the next tutorial. See you then.